Hi guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. In this video, I wanted to address the issue I've been hearing about constantly throughout forums, throughout udemy.com courses, and throughout YouTube comments, and that's people who are taking these tutorials, um, and I'm talking about in Java in this case, and uh, they want to know after taking these tutorials, how can they apply this? How, how can they practice this? And they need projects to test their knowledge on. So I'm going to answer that question right now. And first, I'm going to go and show you a cool website called codingbat.com. And I came across this from a friend. It's a free site, and it basically gives you uh, a problem and they're just methods or functions whatever you want to call them in Java they're called methods and um, it specializes in Java and in Python I'm not too familiar with Python so I'll just show you Java but you can just click right here um, they have beginner intermediate and advanced I believe you can just go to warm up one and we can say uh, sleep in and it'll give you um, a method right here and it tells you what it wants you to do and it tells you what the result is and you type it in and you hit go and it will tell you it'll give you a bunch of it'll put in a bunch of values to test your code against and if you get the same values as the program intended it to get it'll show you how it is so I've, I've learned a lot using this uh, back in the day. So it says the parameter weekday is true if it is a weekday and the parameter vacation is true if we are on a vacation. We sleep in if it is not a weekday or we're on vacation. Return true if we sleep in. Okay, so let's say, let me read that again. It return if we um, the parameter is put in false for if it's a weekday so if it's a weekend and false for vacation which means it's not a vacation uh, you get to sleep in which would be true so let me code this out for you and it'll be a few if statements let's say if um, weekday uh, let's say equals equals false uh, and vacation can't spell vacation equals equals false oops return true okay now we want to say uh, else if uh, weekday equals equals true and weekday equals equals false say return false and then we can also just write else return true all right I just did that real quick so it may not be fully correct but let's just say it. compilation errors oh I didn't use a semicolon so I'll let you know that now let's run again and everything is correct except for this one thing where if one thing was true and uh, the other is false, it should have went. I put uh, return false. But, anyways, so you'll get. Let me give another try at something. Let's go to. They have a few different categories. So let's go to Java. Um, we'll go to. Uh, some type of array. So return the number of even ints in the given array. Note the uh, mod operator computes the remainder. Example blah blah blah. So let's say count evens. So two, one, two, three, four. So return the number of even 
int in the given array. So what we want to do is say, we want to loop through this array. We'll say for int i equals 0. And we'll say while i is less than noms dot length. And we'll increment i. All right. And open up a semicolon, or a, a curly bracket, sorry. You can, don't hit tab on this, it's kind of annoying. Just hit uh, space a few times, but as soon as you hit tab, it kind of takes you off the page. So let's say uh, in here, if noms um, at element or index i, um, let's see, type it in the dark here, mod. Whoops, my two equals equals zero. We will say, um, well, let, first let's declare it in value. And, and as you can see, we're supposed to return an end. So let's just say, um, oh, Even, and we'll set that to zero for now. And down here, this is saying if the value right here at nums i index i, and you divide uh, by two, if the remainder is zero, which means it went in evenly, that's an even number. So we can say that that's even, and we'll just um, increment the even. And we don't really need to. Test an elf, sta elf statement that should work. Close that off, and we will return even. Okay, so all correct, and they gave you quite a few um, types of entries. So this is a great way to practice coding different types of um, problems. They have arrays. Let's see what else they have: arrays, strings, recursion. AP1 logic, all of that. Okay, so there's coding bat for you, and it's free. You can um, sign in. I don't, I don't think I've ever done that. I don't know. I don't think there's any benefits to it, but they might have some type of videos that might help you. But another way to find projects is just to simply Google them. What I like to do now is just Google something. Let's say um, let's say Java textbook. PDF and sometimes you can find here we go introduction to programming using Java and it's a PDF file and I love finding the websites that say .edu because you know it's some type of college or school and you can possibly find their projects and all types of stuff if you know how to um, go into their homework folders and for this case we have I don't know if we can see how many pages they have, but it looks like 600 some pages. And you can go through here, and at the end of each chapter, you can read it if you want for you know get more details. And at the end of each chapter, let me find it. They should have some practice problems. Looks like this chapter is teaching a bunch of logic. Okay, so here we go. It says write a program that will print your initials to standard output in letters that are nine lines tall. Each big letter should be made up of a bunch of, uh, uh, I don't know what that symbol is, is the multiplication symbol. For example, if your initials were DJE, and the output should look something like that. So, you know, there, there's tons of ideas. And then, look, solution. You can test out what you did according to their solution right there. So that's a way to find um, legitimate things of what they're teaching in universities and stuff. So, you know, using this book, you can test all types of um, your knowledge against their practice problems. And... 
me see if I can uh, see if I can find some practice homework problems for you. Sometimes, okay. So now I got into this person's um, introduction to programming course, and here you go. Here's some uh, work. Here's some quizzes they gave you. They gave their students. There's questions and there's the answers. So there's all types of ways to find uh, how to code Java and test your knowledge. So please like this video and share it if you will. Um, you can visit my website www.mcprogramming.org and I want to continue to make videos that help the beginner Java student and I will keep making what will help you all. So please if you have any feedback or any questions leave them below and please subscribe. Thank you.